What is the difference between a reptile and an amphibian? Reptiles are clad in scales, shields, or plates, and their toes have claws. Amphibians have moist, glandular skins, and their toes lack claws. Reptile eggs have a thick, hard, or parchment-like shell that protects the developing embryo from moisture loss, even on dry land. The eggs of amphibians lack this protective outer covering and are always laid in water or in damp places. Young reptiles are miniature replicas of their parents in general appearance if not always in coloration and pattern. Juvenile amphibians pass through a larval, usually aquatic stage before they metamorphose change in form and structure, into the adult form. Reptiles include alligators, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes. Amphibians include salamanders, toads, and frogs. How many quills does a porcupine have? For its defensive weapon, the average North American porcupine has about 30,000 quills or specialized hairs. Comparable in hardness and flexibility to slivers of celluloid and so sharply pointed that they can penetrate any hide. The quills that do the most damage are the short ones that stud the porcupine's muscular tail. With a few lashes, the porcupine can send a rain of quills that have tiny scale-like barbs into the skin of its adversary. The quills work their way inward because of their barbs and the involuntary muscular action of the victim. Sometimes the quills can work themselves out. But other times the quills pierce vital organs, and the victim dies. Slow-footed and stocky, porcupines spend much of their time in the trees. Using their formidable incisors to strip off bark and foliage for their food, and supplement their diets with fruits and grasses. Porcupines have a ravenous appetite for salt, as herbivores. Plant-eating animals, their diets have insufficient salt. So natural salt licks, animal bones left by carnivores, meat-eating animals. Yellow pond lilies, and other items having a high salt content, including paints, plywood adhesives, and human clothing that bears traces of sweat, have a strong appeal to porcupines. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees. A camel can drink 30 gallons of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons over several hours.
A one-humped camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert. Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil. Whose work during the Roman era became the authority on anatomy? Galen, 130-200, a Greek physician, anatomist, and physiologist living during the time of the Roman Empire. Was one of the most influential and authoritative authors on medical subjects. His writings include on anatomical procedures, on the usefulness of the parts of the body, on the natural faculties, and hundreds of other treatises. Since human dissection was forbidden, Galen made most of his observations on different animals. He correctly described bones and muscles and observed muscles working in contracting pairs. He was also able to describe heart valves and structural differences between arteries and veins. While his work contained many errors, he provided many accurate anatomical details that are still regarded as classics. Galen's writings were the accepted standard text for anatomical studies for 1,400 years. What is unusual about the teeth of sharks? Sharks were among the first vertebrates to develop teeth. The teeth are not set into the jaw but rather sit atop it. They are not firmly anchored and are easily lost. The teeth are arranged in 6 to 20 rows. With the ones in front doing the biting and cutting. Behind these teeth, others grow. When a tooth breaks or is worn down, a replacement moves forward. One shark may eventually develop and use more than 20,000 teeth in a lifetime. What is the chemical composition of a skunk's spray? The chief odorous components of the spray have been identified as crotyl mercaptan, isopentyl mercaptan, and methyl crotyl disulfide in the ratio of 4 colon 4 colon 3. The liquid is an oily, pale yellow, foul smelling spray that can cause severe eye inflammation. This defensive weapon is discharged from two tiny nipples located just inside. The skunk's anus either as a fine spray or a short stream of rain-sized drops. Although the liquid's range is 6.5 to 10 feet, 2 to 3 meters. Its smell can be detected 1.5 miles, 2.5 kilometers, downwind. Is the whale shark a mammal or a fish? The whale shark, Rhynchodon typhus, is a shark, not a whale. It is, therefore, a fish. This species name merely indicates that it is the largest of all shark species. Weighing 40,000 pounds 18,144 kilograms or more and growing.
to lengths of 49 feet 15 meters or more, and the largest fish species in the world. However, it is completely harmless to humans. Why do cats have whiskers? The function of a cat's whiskers is not fully understood. They are thought to have something to do with the sense of touch. Removing them can disturb a cat for some time. Some people believe that the whiskers act as antennae in the dark. Enabling the cat to identify things it cannot see. The whiskers may help the cat to pinpoint the direction from which an odor is coming. In addition, the cat is thought to point some of its whiskers downwards. To guide it when jumping or running over uneven terrain at night. Do dogs and cats have good memories? Dogs do have long-term memories, especially for those whom they love. Cats have a memory for things that are important to their lives. Some cats seem to have extraordinary memories for finding places. Taken away from their homes, they seem able to remember where they live. The key to this homing ability could be a built-in celestial navigation, similar to that used by birds. Or the cat's navigational ability could be attributed to the cat's sensitivity to Earth's magnetic fields. When magnets are attached to cats, their normal navigational skills are disrupted. How much electricity does an electric eel generate? An electric eel, Electrophorus electricus, has current producing organs made up of electric plates on both sides of its vertebral column running almost its entire body length. The charge on the average of 350 volts. But as great as 550 volts is released by the central nervous system. The shock consists of 4 to 8 separate charges. Which last only 2 to 3 thousandths of a second each. These shocks, used as a defense mechanism can be repeated up to 150 times per hour without any visible fatigue to the eel. The most powerful electric eel, found in the rivers of Brazil, Colombia, Venezuela, and Peru, produces a shock of 400 to 650 volts. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813 to 1878. Enriched physiology by his introduction of numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the milieu interior or internal environment. The complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. 
All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment. Which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the elementary exchange of nutrients and waste material. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813 to 1878. Enriched physiology by his introduction of numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the milieu interior or internal environment. The complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment, which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the elementary exchange of nutrients and waste material. Who coined the term homeostasis? Walter Bradford Cannon, 1871-1945, who elaborated on Claude Bernard's concept of the milieu interior. Interior environment, used the term homeostasis to describe the body's ability to maintain a relative constancy in its internal environment. Who coined the term homeostasis? Walter Bradford Cannon 1871-1945, who elaborated on Claude Bernard's concept of the milieu interior. Interior environment, used the term homeostasis to describe the body's ability to maintain a relative constancy in its internal environment. Which chemicals constitute the human body? About 24 elements are used by the body in its functions and processes. Potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium each occur at 0.35% or less. There are also traces of iron, cobalt, copper, manganese, iodine, zinc, fluorine, boron, aluminum, molybdenum, silicon, chromium, and selenium. Which chemicals constitute the human body? About 24 elements are used by the body in its functions and processes. Potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium each occur at 0.35% or less. There are also traces of iron, cobalt, copper, manganese, iodine, zinc. Fluorine, boron, aluminum, molybdenum, silicon, chromium, and selenium. What are the types of human body shapes?
the best known example of body typing, classifying body shape in terms of physiological functioning. Behavior and Disease Resistance was devised by American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon, 1898-1977. Sheldon's system, known as somatotyping, distinguishes three types of body shapes. Ignoring overall size, endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The extreme endomorph tends to be spherical, a round head, a large, fat abdomen. Weak penguin-like arms and legs, with heavy upper arms and thighs but slender wrists and ankles. The extreme mesomorph is characterized by a massive cubical head. Broad shoulders and chest, and heavy muscular arms and legs. The extreme ectomorph has a thin face, receding chin. High forehead, a thin, narrow chest and abdomen, and spindly arms and legs. In Sheldon's system there are mixed body types, determined by component ratings. Sheldon assumed a close relationship between body build and behavior and temperament. This system of body typing has many critics. What are the types of human body shapes? The best known example of body typing, classifying body shape in terms of physiological functioning. Behavior and Disease Resistance was devised by American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon, 1898-1977 Sheldon's system, known as somatotyping, distinguishes three types of body shapes. Ignoring overall size, endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The extreme endomorph tends to be spherical, a round head, a large, fat abdomen. Weak penguin-like arms and legs, with heavy upper arms and thighs but slender wrists and ankles. The extreme mesomorph is characterized by a massive cubical head. Broad shoulders and chest, and heavy muscular arms and legs. The extreme ectomorph has a thin face, receding chin. High forehead, a thin, narrow chest and abdomen, and spindly arms and legs. In Sheldon's system there are mixed body types, determined by component ratings. Sheldon assumed a close relationship between body build and behavior and temperament. This system of body typing has many critics. What percent of human body weight is water? The human body is 61.8% water by weight. Water is found in every tissue. What percent of human body weight is water? The human body is 61.8% water by weight. Water is found in every tissue. What are the four humors of the body?
the four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agregentum, 504 to 433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body. Ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. What are the four humors of the body? The four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agregentum, 504 to 433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body. Ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. What are the levels of structural organization in vertebrate animals, including humans? Every vertebrate animal has four major levels of hierarchical organization. Cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Each level in the hierarchy is of increasing complexity. And all organ systems work together to maintain life. What are the levels of structural organization in vertebrate animals, including humans? Every vertebrate animal has four major levels of hierarchical organization. Cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Each level in the hierarchy is of increasing complexity. And all organ systems work together to maintain life. What is the matrix in blood? Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets, thrombocytes, which are tiny pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. What is the matrix in blood?
Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets, thrombocytes, which are tiny pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. How strong is bone? Bone is one of the strongest materials found in nature. It is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. Most of the skeletal system is composed of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. One cubic inch of bone can withstand loads of at least 19,000 pounds, 8,626 kilograms, which is approximately the weight of five standard size pickup trucks. This is roughly four times the strength of concrete. Bone's resistance to load is equal to that of aluminum and light steel. Ounce for ounce, bone is actually stronger than steel and reinforced concrete. Since steel bars of comparable size would weigh four or five times as much as bone. How strong is bone? Bone is one of the strongest materials found in nature. It is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. Most of the skeletal system is composed of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. One cubic inch of bone can withstand loads of at least 19,000 pounds, 8,626 kilograms, which is approximately the weight of five standard size pickup trucks. This is roughly four times the strength of concrete. Bone's resistance to load is equal to that of aluminum and light steel. Ounce for ounce, bone is actually stronger than steel and reinforced concrete. Since steel bars of comparable size would weigh four or five times as much as bone. What is the hardest substance in the body? Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the body. It is composed of 96% mineral salts and 4% organic matter and water. What is the hardest substance in the body? Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the body. It is composed of 96% mineral salts and 4% organic matter and water. What are the three types of muscle tissue?
There are three types of muscle tissue in the body. 1. Smooth muscle, 2. Skeletal muscle, and 3. Cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, is specialized for contraction. It enables body movements, as well as the movement of substances within the body. What are the three types of muscle tissue? There are three types of muscle tissue in the body. 1. Smooth muscle, 2. Skeletal muscle, and 3. Cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue, consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, is specialized for contraction. It enables body movements, as well as the movement of substances within the body. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body, which contains a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, Dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Nerve tissue also has supporting cells, called neuroglia or glial cells, which nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body, which contains a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Nerve tissue also has supporting cells, called neuroglia or glial cells, which nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. Who coined the term homeostasis? Walter Bradford Cannon, 1871-1945, who elaborated on Claude Bernard's concept of the milieu interior. Interior environment, used the term homeostasis to describe the body's ability to maintain a relative constancy in its internal environment. Which breed is known as the voiceless dog? The Basenji dog does not bark. When happy, 
it will make an appealing sound described as something between a chortle and a yodel. It also snarls and growls on occasion. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, and originating in Central Africa. The Basenji was often given as a present to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Following the decline of the Egyptian civilization, the Basenji was still valued in Central Africa for its hunting prowess and its silence. The dog was rediscovered by English explorers in the 19th century. Although it was not widely bred until the 1940s. The Basenji is a small, lightly built dog with a flat skull and a long, rounded muzzle. It measures 16 to 17 inches, 40 to 43 centimeters. In height at the shoulder and weighs 22 to 24 pounds, 10 to 11 kilograms. The coat is short and silky in texture. The feet, chest, and tail tip are white, the rest of the coat is chestnut red, black, or black and tan. How fast do a hummingbird's wings move? Hummingbirds are the only family of birds that can truly hover in still air for any length of time. They need to do so in order to hang in front of a flower while they perform the delicate task of inserting their slim, sharp bills into its depths to drink nectar. Their thin wings are not contoured into the shape of aerofoils and do not generate lift in this way. Their paddle-shaped wings are, in effect, hands that swivel at the shoulder. They beat them in such a way that the tip of each wing follows the line of a figure eight lying on its side. The wing moves forward and downwards into the front loop of the eight, creating lift. As it begins to come up and go back, the wing twists through 180 degrees so that once again it creates a downward thrust. The hummingbird's method of flying does have one major limitation. The smaller the wing, the faster it has to beat in order to produce sufficient downward thrust. An average sized hummingbird beats its wings 25 times per second. Small species beat their wings 50 to 80 times per second, and even faster during courtship displays. The bee hummingbird, native to Cuba, is only 2 inches, 5 centimeters. Long and beats its wings at an astonishing 200 times per second. Why do dogs hear more than humans? A dog's ears are highly mobile, allowing it to scan its environment for sounds. The ears capture the sounds and funnel them down to the eardrum. Dogs can hear sounds from four times farther away than humans. What are the four humors of the body? The four constituent humors of the body were identified as blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile, originating in the heart, brain, liver, and spleen, respectively. Empedocles of Agrigentum, 
504 to 433 BCE, probably originated the theory in which he equated the body fluids to the four elements of nature, earth, fire, air, and water. These humors could determine the health of the body and the personality of the person as well. To be in good health the humors should be in harmony within the body. Ill health could be remedied by treatments to realign the humors and re-establish the harmony. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813-1878 Enriched physiology by his introduction of numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the milieu interior or internal environment. The complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment, which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the elementary exchange of nutrients and waste material. Which breed is known as the wrinkled dog? The Sharpei, or Chinese fighting dog, is covered with folds of loose skin. It stands 18 to 20 inches, 46 to 51 centimeters, tall and weighs up to 50 pounds, 22.5 kilograms. Its solid colored coat can be black, red, fawn, or cream. The dog originated in Tibet or the northern provinces of China some 2,000 years ago. The People's Republic of China put such a high tax on Sharpays, however, that few people could afford to keep them, and the dog was in danger of extinction. But a few specimens were smuggled out of China. And the breed has made a comeback in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. Although bred as a fighting dog, the Sharpei is generally an amiable companion. What percent of human body weight is water? The human body is 61.8% water by weight. Water is found in every tissue. How fast does a hummingbird fly and how far does the hummingbird migrate? Hummingbirds fly at speeds up to 71 miles, 80 kilometers, per hour. The longest migratory flight of a hummingbird documented to date is the flight of a Rufus hummingbird from Ramsey Canyon, Arizona, to near M.T. St. Helens, Washington, a distance of 1,414 miles, 2,277 kilometers. Bird banding studies are now in progress to verify that a few Rufus hummingbirds do make a 11,000 to 11,500 mile 
17,699 to 18,503 km. Journey along a super great basin high route, a circuit that could take a year to complete. Hummingbird studies, however, are difficult to complete because so few banded birds are recovered. What bird has the biggest wingspan? Three members of the albatross family the wandering albatross, Diomede exculens, the royal albatross. Diomede epomophora, and the Amsterdam island albatross, Diomeda amsterdi immensis. Have the greatest wingspan of any bird species with a spread of 8 to 11 feet, 2.5 to 3.3 meters. What are the upper and lower shells of a turtle called? The turtle, order Testudinas, uses its shell as a protective device. The upper shell is called the dorsal carapace and the lower shell is called the ventral plastron. The shell sections are referred to as the scutes. The carapace and the plastron are joined at the sides. What are the levels of structural organization in vertebrate animals, including humans? Every vertebrate animal has four major levels of hierarchical organization. Cell, tissue, organ, and organ system. Each level in the hierarchy is of increasing complexity. And all organ systems work together to maintain life. What accounts for the different colors of bird feathers? The vivid color of feathers is of two kinds, pigmentary and structural. Red, orange and yellow feathers are colored by pigments called lipochromes deposited in the feather barbules as they are formed. Black, brown, and gray colors are from another pigment, melanin. Blue feathers depend not on pigment but on scattering of shorter wavelengths of light by particles within the feather. These are structural feathers. Green colors are almost always a combination of yellow pigment and blue feather structure. Another kind of structural color is the beautiful iridescent color of many birds. Which ranges from red, orange, copper, and gold to green, blue, and violet. Iridescent color is based on interference that causes light waves to reinforce, weaken, or eliminate each other. Iridescent colors may change with the angle of view. How is the age of a dog or cat computed in human years? When a cat is one year old, it is about 20 years old in human years. Each additional year is multiplied by 4.
Another source counts the age of a cat slightly differently. At age 1, a cat's age equals 16 human years. At age 2, a cat's age is 24 human years. Each additional year is multiplied by 4. When a dog is 1 year old, it is about 15 years old in human years. At age 2 it is about 24, after age 2, each additional year is multiplied by 4. Why do birds migrate annually? Migratory behavior in birds is inherited, however. Birds will not migrate without certain physiological and environmental stimuli. In the late summer, the decrease in sunlight stimulates the pituitary gland and the adrenal gland of migrating birds, causing them to produce the hormones prolactin and corticosterone respectively. These hormones in turn cause the birds to accumulate large amounts of fat just under the skin. Providing them with enough energy for the long migratory flights. The hormones also cause the birds to become restless just prior to migration. The exact time of departure, however, is dictated not only by the decreasing sunlight and hormonal changes but also by such conditions as the availability of food and the onset of cold weather. The major wintering areas for North American migrating Birds are the southern United States and Central America. Migrating ducks follow four major flyways south, the Atlantic Flyway, the Mississippi Flyway, the Central Flyway, and the Pacific Flyway. Some bird experts propose that the birds return north to breed for several reasons. 1. Birds return to nest because there is a huge insect supply for their young. 2. The higher Earth's latitude in the summer in the northern hemisphere. The longer the daylight available to the parents to find food for their young. 3. Less competition exists for food and nesting sites in the north, 4. In the north, there are fewer mammal predators for nesting birds, which are particularly vulnerable during the nesting stage. 5. Birds migrate south to escape the cold weather, and they return north when the weather is more temperate. Why do dogs howl at sirens? The high pitch of a siren is very similar to the pitch of a dog's howl. A dog's howl is a way of communicating with other dogs either to indicate location or to define territory. When a dog responds to an ambulance or fire engine siren, he is returning the call of the wild. What is the newest method of tagging a dog? There is now a computer age dog tag. A microchip is implanted painlessly between the dog's shoulder blades. The semiconductor carries a 10-digit code, which can be read by a scanner. When the pet is found, the code can be phoned into a national database to locate the owner.
the microchip can store license number, medical condition, and the owner's address and phone number. Which breeds of dogs are best for families with young children? Research has shown that Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, Beagle, Collie, Bichon Frise, Cairn Terrier, Pug, Coonhound, Boxer, Basset Hound, or mixes of these breeds are best for families with young children. Which bird migrates the greatest distance? The Arctic tern, Sterna paradisia, migrates the longest distance of any bird. They breed from subarctic regions to the very limits of land in the Arctic of North America and Eurasia. At the end of the northern summer, the Arctic tern leaves the north on a migration of more than 11,000 miles. 17,699 kilometers, to its southern home in Antarctica. A turn tagged in July on the Arctic coast of Russia was recovered the next May near Fremantle. Australia, a record 14,000 miles, 22,526 kilometers, away. What food odors do dogs like best? In a study of different foods, researchers found that liver and chicken ranked higher than everything else. Including hamburgers, fish, vegetables, and fresh fruit. What breeds of dogs do not shed? Poodles, carry Blue Terriers, and Schnauzers do not shed. What was the contribution to medical science of a dog named Marjorie? Marjorie was a diabetic black and white mongrel that was the first creature to be kept alive by insulin. A substance that controls the level of sugar in the blood. Do all birds fly? Among the flightless birds, the penguins and the ratites are the best known. Ratites include emus, kiwis, ostriches, rheas, and cassowaries. They are called ratite because they lack a keel on the breastbone. All of these birds have wings but lost their power to fly millions of years ago. Many birds that live isolated on oceanic islands, for example, the great auk, apparently became flightless in the absence of predators and the consequent gradual disuse of their wings for escape. Why do geese fly in formation?
aerodynamicists have suspected that long-distance migratory birds, such as geese and swans, adapt the V-formation in order to reduce the amount of energy needed for such long flights. According to theoretical calculations, birds flying in a V formation can fly some 10% farther than a lone bird can. Formation flying lessens the drag, the air pressure that pushes against the wings. The effect is similar to flying in a thermal upcurrent, where less total lift power is needed. In addition, when flying, each bird creates behind it a small area of disturbed air. Any bird flying directly behind it would be caught in this turbulence. In the V formation of Canada geese, each bird flies not directly behind the other. But to one side or above the bird in front. What is the hardest substance in the body? Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the body. It is composed of 96% mineral salts and 4% organic matter and water. What names are used for groups of birds? A group of birds in general is called a congregation, flight, flock, voli, or volley. Below is a list specific to types of birds. Which chemicals constitute the human body? About 24 elements are used by the body in its functions and processes. Potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium each occur at 0.35% or less. There are also traces of iron, cobalt, copper, manganese, iodine, zinc, fluorine, boron, aluminum, molybdenum, silicon, chromium, and selenium. Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles? The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term and turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. What are the types of human body shapes? The best known example of body typing classifying body shape in terms of physiological functioning, behavior, and disease resistance, was devised by American psychologist William Herbert Sheldon, 1898-1977. Sheldon's system, known as somatotyping, distinguishes three types of body shapes. 
ignoring overall size, endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The extreme endomorph tends to be spherical, a round head, a large, fat abdomen. Weak penguin-like arms and legs, with heavy upper arms and thighs but slender wrists and ankles. The extreme mesomorph is characterized by a massive cubical head. Broad shoulders and chest, and heavy muscular arms and legs. The extreme ectomorph has a thin face, receding chin. High forehead, a thin, narrow chest and abdomen, and spindly arms and legs. In Sheldon's system there are mixed body types, determined by component ratings. Sheldon assumed a close relationship between body build and behavior and temperament. This system of body typing has many critics. Which dogs are the easiest to train? In a study of 56 popular dog breeds the top breeds to train were Shetland Sheepdogs, Sheets Us. Miniature Toy and Standard Poodles, Bichens Frises, English Springer Spaniels, and Welsh Corgis. What is the matrix in blood? Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets, thrombocytes, which are tiny pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. How fast can a crocodile run on land? In smaller crocodiles, the running gait can change into a bounding gallop that can achieve speeds of 2 to 10 miles, 3 to 17 kilometers, per hour. How strong is bone? Bone is one of the strongest materials found in nature. It is a rigid connective tissue that has a matrix of collagen fibers embedded in calcium salts. Most of the skeletal system is composed of bone, which provides support for muscle attachment and protects the internal organs. One cubic inch of bone can withstand loads of at least 19,000 pounds, 8,626 kilograms, which is approximately the weight of five standard size pickup trucks. This is roughly four times the strength of concrete. Bone's resistance to load is equal to that of aluminum and light steel. Ounce for ounce, bone is actually stronger than steel and reinforced concrete. Since steel bars of comparable size would weigh four or five times as much as bone.
What is the rarest breed of dog? The Talton Bear Dog, of which only a few remain, is thought to be the rarest dog. In danger of extinction, this breed was once used by the Talton. Indians of Western Canada to hunt bear, lynx, and porcupine. What type of cell is found in nerve tissue? Neurons are specialized cells that produce and conduct impulses, or nerve signals. Neurons consist of a cell body, which contains a nucleus and two types of cytoplasmic extensions, dendrites and axons. Dendrites are thin, highly branched extensions that receive signals. Axons are tubular extensions that transmit nerve impulses away from the cell body, often to another neuron. Nerve tissue also has supporting cells, called neuroglia or glial cells, which nourish the neurons. Insulate the dendrites and axons, and promote quicker transmission of signals. What are the three types of muscle tissue? There are three types of muscle tissue in the body. 1. Smooth muscle, 2. Skeletal muscle, and 3. Cardiac muscle. Muscle tissue consisting of bundles of long cells called muscle fibers, is specialized for contraction. It enables body movements, as well as the movement of substances within the body. How often is the epithelium replaced? Epithelial cells are constantly being replaced and regenerated during an individual's lifetime. The epidermis, outer layer of the skin, is renewed every two weeks. A totally new epidermis is produced every 25 to 30 days. The epithelial lining of the stomach is replaced every two to three days. The lining of the respiratory tract is only replaced every five to six weeks. The liver, a gland consisting of epithelial tissue, easily regenerates after portions are removed surgically. How often is the epithelium replaced? Epithelial cells are constantly being replaced and regenerated during an individual's lifetime. The epidermis, outer layer of the skin, is renewed every two weeks. A totally new epidermis is produced every 25 to 30 days. The epithelial lining of the stomach is replaced every two to three days. The lining of the respiratory tract is only replaced every five to six weeks. The liver, a gland consisting of epithelial tissue, easily regenerates after portions are removed surgically.
What is the largest nerve in the body? The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body about as thick as a lead pencil 0.78 inch, 1.98 centimeters. It is a broad, flat nerve composed of fibers that run from the spinal cord to the back of each leg. What is the largest nerve in the body? The sciatic nerve is the largest in the human body about as thick as a lead pencil 0.78 inch, 1.98 centimeters. It is a broad, flat nerve composed of fibers that run from the spinal cord to the back of each leg. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons, 1, sensory neurons, 2, motor neurons, and 3, interneurons, also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, and the surface of the skin, into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. They permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. How many different types of neurons are found in nerve tissue? There are three main types of neurons, 1, sensory neurons, 2, motor neurons, and 3, interneurons, also called association neurons. Sensory neurons conduct impulses from sensory organs, eyes, ears, and the surface of the skin, into the central nervous system. Motor neurons conduct impulses from the central nervous system to muscles or glands. Interneurons are neither sensory neurons nor motor neurons. They permit elaborate processing of information to generate complex behaviors. Interneurons comprise the majority of neurons in the central nervous system. How many neurons are in the nervous system? There are approximately 20 billion neurons in the nervous system. How many neurons are in the nervous system? There are approximately 20 billion neurons in the nervous system. What is an organ?
An organ is a group of several different tissues working together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals, including humans. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. What is an organ? An organ is a group of several different tissues working. Together as a unit to perform a specific function or functions. Each organ performs functions that none of the component tissues can perform alone. This cooperative interaction of different tissues is a basic feature of animals, including humans. The heart is an example of an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle wrapped in connective tissue. The heart chambers are lined with epithelium. Nerve tissue controls the rhythmic contractions of the cardiac muscles. How much does the heart weigh? In an infant, the heart is about one thirtieth of total body weight. In an average adult, the heart is about one three hundredth of total body weight. This equals about eleven ounces, three hundred and ten grams, in males and eight ounces, two hundred and twenty five grams, in females. How much does the heart weigh? In an infant, the heart is about one thirtieth of total body weight. In an average adult, the heart is about one three hundredth of total body weight. This equals about eleven ounces, three hundred and ten grams. In males and 8 ounces, 225 grams, in females. What is the size and location of the heart? Heart size varies with body size. The average adult's heart is about 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters. Long and 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters, wide, or approximately the size of one's fist. The heart is located just above the diaphragm, between the right and left lungs. One third of the heart is located on the right side of the chest while two-thirds are located on the left side of the chest. What is the size and location of the heart? Heart size varies with body size. The average adult's heart is about 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters. 
long and 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters, wide, or approximately the size of one's fist. The heart is located just above the diaphragm, between the right and left lungs. One third of the heart is located on the right side of the chest. While two thirds are located on the left side of the chest. What is the largest organ in the human body? The largest and heaviest human organ is the skin, with a total surface area of about 20 square feet. 1.9 square meters, for an average person or 25 square feet, 2.3 square meters, for a large person. It weighs 5.6 pounds, 2.7 kilograms, on average representing 4% of the average weight of the human body. Although generally it is not thought of as an organ, anatomically it is an organ. What is the largest organ in the human body? The largest and heaviest human organ is the skin, with a total surface area of about 20 square feet. 1.9 square meters, for an average person or 25 square feet, 2.3 square meters, for a large person. It weighs 5.6 pounds, 2.7 kilograms, on average representing 4% of the average weight of the human body. Although generally it is not thought of as an organ, anatomically it is an organ.